Climate change is the biggest challenge facing our industry and our planet. In surveys of ABI members, climate change is the issue that most concerns insurers and long-term savings providers. With the cost of living crisis and Russia's invasion of Ukraine, some have argued that tackling climate change should be put on the back burner for now. The ABI and our members believe that to do so would be profoundly short-sighted. Because in a global world, these risks are all interconnected. It is only by greater investment in new forms of green technologies that the cost of energy bills can be brought down. We must reduce our reliance on fossil fuel not only to meet net zero targets, but to have an independent energy supply that is not subject to geopolitical events or price pressures outside our control. Quite simply, as our glaciers melt, as the Amazon shrinks, and as more animals and plants face extinction, we are running out of time. Last year, the ABI published its Climate Change Roadmap, a world first for a financial services sector. We have just published our first update against the ambitions we set out. In all four areas, we have delivered progress. First, firms representing the majority of the long-term savings and general insurance markets have set science-based net zero targets and become race to zero members. This means that today, customers have the power to choose an insurance and long-term savings provider whose net zero targets have been verified by a credible external scientific expert. Second, as institutional investors, our industry's financial muscle is vital to powering the transition to net zero. Over the next 10 years, our members will invest many billions of pounds, deploying patient capital to invest in the green energy revolution. And with the right changes to regulation, this investment could be much more again. Third, our members have tremendous influence across their supply chains, where they spend millions and where many of their emissions are generated. Today, the ABI has published a best practice guide to help our members ensure their suppliers lean into the collective challenge of meeting net zero targets. Finally, our members are developing new products to help society adapt. An excellent example of this innovation is the launch of Flood Re's Build Back Better scheme. This helps people make their flooded home more resilient to extreme weather in the future after an insurance claim. Is all this enough? It's a good start, but no sector or part of society is going fast enough yet. Critically, we need support from government and from regulators if we are to unlock the full potential of our industry. This includes changes to our prudential regulatory regime to make it easier to invest in green technologies, as well as better coordination so our private capital is invested in those sectors that need it most and help maintain our flood defences. The ABI and our members are committed to working together with government and with regulators to tackle this most pressing challenge to our industry our society and our planet.